I've seen these bended candles everywhere, but I have yet to find a step-by-step -step tutorial, so here we go. I got 10-inch candles from Hobby Lobby, and there's a lot of colors to choose from. These are the ones that I picked. Then I filled the sink with water, and the temperature that I used was kind of this slightly uncomfortable warm water if you were ever getting a manicure or a pedicure. The longer you wait, the better. I waited around 45 minutes, and I added some more hot water here and there to make sure it stayed warm. So I discovered the secret behind it. So obviously you can see I had some errors at the start, but what I discovered is that if you mold it while it's still in the hot water, it works a whole lot better. There was no cracking at all when it was in the water, and I cut the bottom off of some of them to make them stand better. And I sandwiched them between things while they dried. And these are the results. I think they're so much fun, and I hope this helps you guys. I use number 6 plastic to make these. You could use shrinky dinks, but I would recommend using recycled plastic just because it's better for the environment, but it looks like that. The numbers inside of the triangle thing, um, if you use anything else, you'll probably set your house on fire. But whatever you're drawing, make sure you do it like a pretty big size because it'll shrink a lot in the oven and punch a good size hole. 350 Foil line baking pan into el horno. Turn the oven light on so you can see, but it'll completely curl up like this. Like that. And you kind of just have to sit there and watch it until it uncurls and lays flat. Once it's like pretty much flat, take it out. If it's not completely flat, you can press it while it's still hot. And then do what you please. Also, this one I forgot to color both sides of it, but it usually turns out better if you do both sides. Hey guys, today we're going to be doing something a little different from our normal glass paintings and we're going to be painting a phone case for a special order from a client. After I retrieved the proper phone case for them, I started painting and I was very careful about where I was laying paint because I didn't want it to seep out of the outline. After that, I went and put black paint over the black marker and then after that, I put a layer of sealant behind the paint after it dried. After I put the first layer, I laid down a second layer just to give it that extra protection. And then, in the end, it looked like this. It's pretty cool. I like it. a ton of requests to make your very own leaf skeleton that we use in our signature leaf soaps. Remember, it takes patience and persistence. First step is to choose your leaves. As a rule, it's best to choose leaves with a waxy surface and with a lot of veins on the back. Then pop those leaves into a bowl and give them a good wash to remove dirt and mud. Add your leaves and water into a boiling pot with one tablespoon of baking soda and let it come to a boil. Once it has, turn off the flame and let it cool down your leaves into an airtight container and cover completely with the same water then store it for six days to come back for part two so it was pretty simple it's just time consuming um i went to the craft store and i got um like a foam cone and this like foam dome and then i put um like a barbecue skewer, like a wooden one to like hold it up and then glued it all together. And then these are mirror tiles off Amazon. 
So I ordered this a couple times. It comes with a thousand of these little mirror tiles and um, I ordered like a million of them and then I made this mushroom and I also made a wiener. But I can't show you on here because my videos all get taken down of it. So, craft day. Yeah. <laughs> Finally! I've been trying to catch you boys all day! Now that I've got you right where I want you! I'd like to buy all your chocolate. 